Good eye, and welcome back to my channel. This is an introduction video of the LAD robotic torso, my latest creation and the ideal platform for your robotics projects. Whether you are a beginner or an expert in the field of robotics, this is your opportunity to start building your own humanoid robot with 3D printed parts and easy to find hardware. And once you finish building the torso, you can continue adding modules to it. For instance, a 3D camera can improve the interaction of the robot with its surroundings. Or a set of wheels can help the torso get closer to its target. Adding a speech recognition module will help you interact with the robot with voice commands. You can take this project anywhere. The possibilities are endless. And the platform is here for you to explore. You might recall the humble beginnings of this project with my first attempt of making a robot capable of copying the range of movements of the human arm. With this first prototype, I was able to produce flexion extension, abduction adduction, and internal and external rotation of the shoulder, flexion and extension of the elbow, and pronation and supination of the forearm. This first prototype gave me the tools to understand the great complexity and the challenges to overcome when designing a five-joint robotic arm. In this new and improved design, I modified each joint to make it more robust, safer for people to work around, and stronger by increasing the torque of each motor with a set of gear reductions. With the LAD robotic torso, you'll have the possibility of exchanging the N effector to study the manipulation of objects with either the five finger robotic hand or the adaptive gripper with flexible fingers. The torso requires 10 servo motors to actuate the arms. I've chosen unexpensive and widely available servo motors. These are the same servos that you'll find in RC vehicles. An Arduino board controls the movements of the 10 servos and communicates with the boards of the N effectors. It might look like an easy task to the naked eye, but bringing a shoulder of a robotic arm to full flexion or full abduction is a great challenge from a structural point of view. There are three ways to control the movements of this torso. The first one is through the Arduino serial monitor window and introducing a number between 1 and 16 to run a demo of all joints or to move each individual joint in small increments of 5 degrees. The second option is to control the movements of each arm and both end effectors with this joystick. And finally, you can control the robot by using a MATLAB app that I have developed specifically for this project. The app allows you to load a set of predefined moves from a text file saving your hard drive. You can run a quick demo, or you can test each individual join by moving them in small increments of 5 degrees.
You can position the end effectors in a particular point in space, knowing the XYZ location in which you want the hands or the adaptive gripper to move to. This is possible by running the inverse kinematic equations of the arm. The app allows you to save these points into a file and create complex routines for later execution. You can download the STL files, the Arduino code, the MATLAB app and the installation instructions from the link shown in the description of the video. This is a demonstration on how to control the arms with the joystick option. And this is how to control the robot using the MATLAB app. Here I am loading a routine with moves previously created with the kinematic capabilities of the app. If you are looking for your next challenge or you wish to build your own humanoid robot but you don't know where to start, look no further. You'll find a complete package which includes STL files of all joints, clear instructions with tons of illustrations on how to assemble each component, how to handle the wiring, how to connect the electronics, how to build a joystick for the manual controller, and how to use the Arduino code and the MATLAB app. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and that you find the content useful for your projects. Take good care of yourselves and stay safe.